I ain't gonna care. We got something that looks very interesting, bro. Hey, if you guys don't know, I feel like I do this every single year, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't wanna get caught in the game jutsu. I talk about the gameplay and everything. That one word that get everybody draws wet. Revamp. That's that one word, bro. I'm noticing that. They be using the big words like revamp, new dribble engine, and that be getting us on board with it. Every single year, bro. I'm breaking out the game jutsu. I'm just... Release. Come on, I see it now. But I can't lie to myself. It's pro play, it do look promising. Now we know 2K, it's either hit or miss. There's no in between, it doesn't exist. There's no in between, it's either good or bad. No, it's either good or terrible. There's no There's no okay, there's nothing like that. There, there's never had been a 2K where it just, it's just been neutral. It's either been good or bad. So this pro play thing basically introduces like, I'ma just read it. Next level gameplay leaps forward in NBA 2K24 with all new pro play technology. Using actual footage from NBA games, NBA 2K24 maps unrivaled gameplay with compelling moves from the NBA season. Pro play translates your favorite player's signature crossovers, spin moves, and jump shots into in-game animations to create the most authentic NBA 2K game yet. So what does that mean? The dribble moves, are, it's either gonna be make or break. It's gonna be more realistic. Now, recently we've been having a little, I, want, I don't want to say argument, but it, it's been a war. It's been a war between the 2K community, like the realistic gamers, the IRL guys, and the cheese ball, the dribbles, the dribble heads. We're trying to figure out which one is more IRL play style. And we know neither one of them is IRL. Well, I hope y'all see through it like I do. Neither one of them is IRL. Let's just keep it like that. 2K seen it, it was like, you know what? We're gonna do the pro play. I'm joking because that that was way too soon for 2K to implement such a thing into their game. So pro play basically is something where they're gonna take actual NBA footage of your favorite player and put it into the game. I don't know how, because in the past we know they used to get the NBA player to come and they put a, put him in that little suit with the balls on it and they used to just shoot, shoot around. I guess they're not doing that anymore. They're actually just taking footage from real life NBA games where people are actually serious and just making it according to that. So, you know, your favorite signature style, like a, like a curry slide, right? It's not gonna be all cheesy and like overdrawn, over exaggerated. He's actually gonna take footage when Curry actually did the little curry slide in real life and put it into the game. Now, the jump shots, that's what I'm concerned about, bro. Oh man, y'all know this year I was so tight because I feel like the game wasn't finished. We didn't get a finished product when the game came out. You guys know the early and the late timings. I think we had very early, then we had um, early, then we had very late and late. The best setting was, of course, early. Bro, come on, dog. We ain't getting no normal? And Mike Wayne said, sorry, I didn't have enough time to put normal in. I thought that was supposed to be the first one. Isn't that supposed to be the first shot timing you... Bro, you had everybody rocking early shot timing for the whole year because you couldn't finish your job on time. <laughs> Bro, do your job. This man is bugging. Now, definitely you're gonna put normal shot timing into the game this year. So I feel like the jump shot should be normal. The timing should be easier. Shooting should be easier as a whole. I don't know, but it's looking promising, especially pro play. You know, everybody had like 45,000 jump shot animations. Every time you shot the ball from a different side of the court, the speed was different. You shot on the left wing, it might have been faster. You shot on the top of the key, the jump shot was slower. You shot slightly behind the three point line, maybe around the hash, it went like molasses. Oh my God, trust me. We don't need that in another 2K. 2K, please, please, for the love of God, fix that because that's driving me crazy. I don't think it takes skill because at the same time, I already have in my brain my jump shot memorized every single year. Now, if I don't know what type of timing I'm gonna get and I have to memorize like two, three timings because this jump shot is either fast or slow, I have to memorize two additional timings to time it accordingly. And then before I have to shoot, I gotta realize, okay, I'm getting a slow release, then I have to transition my brain all the way to the slow timing. So vice versa for the fast. Okay, same thing. Please, 2K, okay. do us all a solid, please. And I only want to get started if I'm like a little bit out of stamina. If I'm a little bit out of stamina, I'm not making a shot. If my stamina bar is like halfway, I'm moving like these. 
I'm moving like these for no reason. <laughs> the random air balls that you get. Oh man, in the beginning of the game, everybody was airballing. The air balls was random too. They was random. You time it perfect, wide open and everything. Air ball, early, what is that? How am I holding it for two whole seconds? I'm holding square for two whole seconds and I'm still getting early. That right there, it's like when you know, like, okay, I, I definitely timed that right because I have muscle memory of my jump shot. That's just a glitch or something. Like that's not early, that's not a late, that's a well-timed shot and they just don't give it to you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I feel like pro play is going to fix a lot of this because you're actually going off of IRL footage. In game, they tend to shoot the ball the same way, especially like guys like Steph Curry because it's all muscle memory with them. They shoot the ball the same way, the same way every single time. Now, when you're coming into a, like an open gym or something, you're just having to shoot around, the release could be different. So I can see why, how that made a mistake, you know? I feel like they're trying to fix it. Now the dribble moves, the dribble moves, man, the dribble moves. I feel like the dribble moves are gonna be more realistic than ever this year. I don't wanna get into it too much because I wanna get into something else after this, but something like this, your favorite player seeing your crossovers, the spin moves, when they spin, the jump shots, it, it's gonna be less cheesy. Well, let's say it like this. I don't know if it's gonna be more cheesy or less cheesy, but a significant change is gonna come to the dribble moves. And I'm here for it, you know? The dribbling is gonna feel different. Now, one thing I want them to do is make dribble styles way more important than they are now. See, everybody just rocks Michael Jordan dribble style, right? I feel like if you have a certain player's dribble style on, you need to adapt their whole movement, the way they move, because no player moves the same. Steph Curry moves completely different than guys like CP3 and Kyrie on the court. Curry, I feel like he dribbles with more finesse, more smooth. Kyrie is more explosive, you know, mix up dribbles. You know, Russell Westbrook is more explosive, but more of like a, a tight handle. Not really like fluid, but more, more tight and more stiff. You understand what I'm saying? And you should just adopt that whole movement onto your player just because you have the dribble style. That means you have to make the dribble style requirements more strict, but so be it. I feel like pro play, I'm, I'm excited for pro play. Now this low key, I don't know how I feel about this. It says experience new level gameplay and lifelike visuals. They say this every single year. The All these big ass words, they say it every year, right? NBA, WNBA team showcase your deep arsenal of moves for revamp. There go the word. There goes the word revamp interior defense. Now I'm starting to think revamp just means like different. They say revamp like it means better. It can mean worse too. The interior defense and dribble combo control. Do y'all feel like interior defense was bad? I don't feel like it was bad. Now hear me out. I know dunks was overpowered, but that's not a result of interior defense being bad. That's the result of just dunking being good, too good actually. So now you just have to nerf a couple badges like Posterizer and Limitless Takeoff and the interior defense wasn't that bad. This could mean anything, bro. I don't like when they use the word revamp because that could mean anything. We we seen them use that shit for 2K18 and that shit was horrible. They talking about some new dribble engine. That shit was terrible. So new dribble combo controls for a more rewarding skill-based action in effectiveness now this could be anything as well they got to go into it more enjoy pure authentic action with up-to-date rosters and historic teams bringing your you even closer to the game unlike ever before it almost sounds like they're trying to go more irl or trying to make the game more realistic i don't know what does it sound like to you guys so we know so far that we're getting a whole new like movement engine with the pro play thing and then they're gonna try to fix interior defense and we're getting new dribble combo controls because you have to fix, you have to do new dribble combo controls because we're getting a whole new pro play system, right? So this is expected. Interior defense. So are you just gonna just not nerf the dunks and just buff the interior defense? 2K, I don't know. But this right here, I take nothing from this. More rewarding skill-based action. They say that shit every year. Please don't fall into the Genjutsu. This means nothing. This means nothing. They say this every year. Yo, they will say more rewarding skill-based action and then proceed to do something that takes no skill. They will just put that in the game. So right now, I'm mostly excited for the cross play and the pro play. A lot of plays, you get it? So anyway, I'm about to get out of here. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What are you most excited for that you heard so far about NBA 2K24? Yeah, we getting that release date soon, Those looks like.
I don't know. That release date is coming soon, man. That release date is coming soon. Just stay tuned. But I'm about to get out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. And until my next video, you know where to find me.